So Lenovo have announced a new X1 Extreme and the ThinkPad P-Series workstations, P1, P17, P15. Will these be XPS 15 killers or XPS 17 killers? Now you could have missed this press release because really look at it. It's like a few lines there and that's about it, right? So what do we got here? Available July. Well, that's the Think1 P13. What else we got? Yeah, Gen 3. 1749 available July as well. So the X1 Extreme 3. And this is the thing, the X1 Extreme 3, this laptop here, um, this is what everybody's been asking me about and saying, oh, will it be better than the XPS 15 or MacBook Pro 16? Well, let's discuss that. Also an update on the XPS 17. Still in Australia, no RTX 2060 model. I don't want to get it. I want to get the 8 core on RTX 2060. There's also another option of going to, say, for example, these precision workstations, which is basically an XPS 17 in this case. Um, it's basically an XPS 17 with Xeon parts and stuff like that. Would you like me to get that? Instead of getting the XPS 17 with a, you know, 1650, which, you know, we don't want that. Come on. There's nothing wrong with the 1650, but we've already tested that. We know how it is. But if I got this XPS 17, I could at least test the thermals and for how hard and how long it goes, let me know in the description which way I should go there. Come on, Dell, in Australia, seriously, 1650 in the six core steel. So anyway, Lenovo have announced this and yeah, the reason why it's such a short press release is because really there's not that much difference. Upgrading to the 10th generation CPUs, we're getting LTE, so that is amazing. That is one thing it has better than the XPS 15 or MacBook Pro. You can also get V Pro on the ThinkPad X1 Extreme as well. But these other workstations here, these are quite amazing because they have a daughter board on them. So what happens with these workstations is, if we have a look here, I'll just turn down the volume. And what you can see here is it's actually got a daughter board in it. And it's supposedly all of the Lenovo laptops have got this like tuning now where you can just hammer them as hard as you can. See that? That daughter board, that comes off. And you could possibly upgrade it. And it's supposed to be better for cooling. Of course, with these uh, workstations, you do get Quadro options and Xeons and stuff like that. Modular design there with the GPU up to 110 watts now. Instead of 90, 128 gigabytes you can get with those. Now, this is the P15 and the P17, not the P1. The P1 is basically the X1 Extreme. The new thermal design in these P15 and P17 is supposed to be, you know, uh, what does it say here? 13% more airflow. If we have a look here, now with all of these laptops, even the X1 Extreme, we have this ultimate performance mode. So you're going to be able to tune it for what you want. Now, the previous X1 Extreme, it was power limited and by design in the BIOS, it couldn't go that hard. And that's why I didn't like it compared to the XPS 15 because it was like, you know, power limited. And now the new XPS 15 is a bit power limited there as well. So at least you got the ultra performance mode now. Now the problem is with this X1 Extreme compared to the XPS 15, and of course we're getting temp generation CPUs, an RTX 1650 Ti. Now with the workstations, the P15 and P17, you get the option of Ultra HD LCD 600 nit panel, which is supposed to be HDR and Dolby Vision. Now it says you get that in the P1 as well, that 600 nit display. So that means it's gonna be 169 display, in the P1 and you're getting that 600 nit panel which should be better than the last panel. 1650 Ti graphics. Now here's the thing, is it gonna be better than the XPS 15? That's what I'm getting asked in the comments. Well, here's the deal, right? It's gonna have LTE, so that's where it gets a bonus there. 600 nit brightness display, so that's 100 nits more in terms of brightness than the XPS 15 or 17. Same CPU, same GPU performance is going to be the same. Now Lenovo are a little bit behind and what I mean by that is a laptop design has to go for at least four or five years. So the XPS 15 come out 215, this come out what 218 or something like that? The first gen, it was certainly a few years after the XPS 15, the last design. So this generation of laptop you would expect the same design for another two years or at least another year. In that regard it's still on 16 by 9 display. I think content creation laptops are going to 16 by 10. I like it a lot better. Some people like 16 by 9. So if you like 16 by 9, go and get this X1 Extreme. For me, I want 16 by 10. It's going to be tough. It's going to be durable. It's a ThinkPad. It's made for all day work. You can see there, look at the chin on it. 
yeah, it doesn't look modern compared to the XPS 15, but it's going to be banged and crashed, and yeah, it'll go hard and it'll go for a long time. You don't have to worry for durability in that. It's not as sexy as the XPS 15 or the MacBook Pro. As I said, the same components, so there's going to be no difference in terms of power. But the big advantage of the X1 Extreme over the last XPS 15 is it had two Thunderbolt ports and it had two M.2 slots. Now the new XPS 15 has that. So those advantages are gone now. So what you're left with now is, yes, this will have the best keyboard. But in all other senses, I think the XPS wins 16x10 display. This may be a great display, but I don't want 16x9. Maybe you do. Oh, you know that. Same sort of port situation. 2M.2, same power. So for me, the XPS wins without testing this yet, and I will test it. And the reason the XPS 15 wins is it's new modern design. Now, some people just love ThinkPads and don't care about what is the most sexiest thing out there and the newest thing. This will be the third generation, so it'll be tough as boots. The new XPS 15, it's a new model. You'll have teething issues with that as they've had with the trackpad. They've apparently sold that with the XPS 15 and 17. So going forward, the trackpad should not be an issue with the XPS series, but there may be other things that crop up. This is a third generation of, you know, a product from, you know, a few years ago. So it should be rock solid or more rock solid. Anyway, thought I'd share it because I'm getting asked a lot about it. Should I wait for the 1060 XPS 17 or should I go precision? Should I make a video on why you would choose one over the other? And look at the prices. Woof. Oh, you think Macs are expensive. Look at this. This is proper workstation stuff. Anyway, oh, one thing I did forget to mention is they got a speaker upgrade on the P1, I think. So it should be the X1 Extreme as well. Better speakers. So anyway, catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.